Hello everyone, uh, this is um, another one of our virtual adventures here at Nauticus <clears throat> and today I'm actually going to do a craft tutorial for a deep sea uh, trash creature because uh, we're actually holding a deep sea trash creature competition uh, to celebrate the new exhibit that we're going to be getting at our museum this summer. Uh, it's called Voyage to the Deep and you basically get to go aboard uh, the Nautilus submarine to go down into the deep ocean and explore all the amazing different creatures uh, and things that you can find down there. Uh, so we're holding a competition where you're going to gather different supplies, uh, primarily trash and recyclables that you have inside of your own house, uh, and make a deep sea creature out of those. Um, so I've gathered a bunch of the different recyclables and things that I have in my house, and the first creature that I'm going to be making is a tube worm. Uh, so this is a creature that lives very down deep, um, you know, in the deep ocean, there is not, uh, it's about 200 meters down uh, and deeper. So there's no sunlight down there. And the animals that live down there have to um, have adapted to these really high pressures, cold temperatures, uh, and lack of sunlight. Uh, so the first animal that I'm going to be doing uh, is a tube worm. And they are uh, very interesting looking. Um, I actually have, uh, you know, some pictures up on my laptop at the moment. Um, that I based everything off of. Um, uh, so I'll, I'll share those uh, down below so that you can see what I'm working off of. But uh, basically a tube worm has three main parts to its body. It has the tube, um, the outside of it, it has the body of the worm itself, and then it has a plume on top. Um, so I made two different types of tube worms just to, um, you know, be creative uh, and to give a little inspiration ideas for things you can do at home based on whatever supplies you have. So the first tube worm that I made was really straightforward. Um, honestly, really good for especially like little bitties who want to be a part of this. Um, actually just got a, a toilet paper roll, a marker, um, a little piece of construction paper and a tube worm's body is often either pink or red. So I had a little bit of red, but you can also use pink, but I literally just got scraps of construction paper. Uh, and then um, a piece of ribbon. So I have um, this random piece of ribbon I've had in my house for a very long time and I wanted to use it up. So uh, I made actually more than one of these I just drew the line around the body to kind of make those different segments that the tube worm often has on its tube. I rolled up the construction paper and then glued it along the length and glued it inside um, to make the body of my tube worm. And uh, then for the, the plume up top, I honestly just took my ribbon, cut a small segment and tied it in a knot so that I could, you know, press it down in there and you can even see literally just tied in a knot. I snipped the ends and kind of separated them a little bit so that I have a, a little bit more of that featheredness to it. But I used these supplies because these are what I had in my house. Um, you know, if you have a, a paper towel roll or, um, you know, a, a different thing or even just paper that you can roll to make a tube um, to make the body, you could use that. Uh, for the, excuse me, for the tube itself, for the body, you can use paper like I did. Um, you could decorate it in any different way. Um, you could also use, I've seen a tutorial where someone used a, a straw and a pipe, a straw for the tube and then a pipe cleaner for the body. Um, and uh, for the plume, you can use yarn, feather, you know, whatever you want. Just get creative on this. But, you know, I made a couple right there because often two worms live in, in kind of big colonies all together. And then I also did one that was a little, uh, required a little more supplies. Um, but this is actually a plastic water bottle. I cut off the top. So I just used scissors for that. Um, cut off the top of the plastic water bottle. Um, and then I painted it with acrylic paint. Um, so I just did a white base coat and then wherever the ridges were on my water bottle, I did like a little brown uh, to have those ridges, uh, those little segments still. Um, and I just followed the exact ridges that were on my water bottle. So I made it nice and easy on myself. For the body of my tube worm, again, I just used construction paper that I, I rolled up into a tube to still have those different segments that they have. And then for the plume, uh, this time I did 
um, much bigger of a knot. I actually did a bow and then cut the, um, you know, the bow part. So I'd have six ends and then frayed them all out. And then that's my plume for my bigger one. Uh, so I have three that all kind of go together, three tube worms that all go together for that. Um, but you can see how easy that is and how kind of creative I could be uh, just to make all the different segments. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with, uh, whether you make a tube worm or you can think of a different animal that lives in the deep ocean, uh, whether real or something that you think scientists will find in the future. Uh, we're really excited to see what you guys come up with, how creative you can get with the uh, um, recycled materials uh, and different supplies that you have inside your house um, and how creative you can get with your imagination uh, as you recreate these different sea creatures. Uh, thank you for tuning in and I can't see, wait to see what you guys come up with. Bye.